co-workers and welcome to again another Twister Wonderland Nendoroid unboxing. So today we have the Leech twins here with Lloyd and Jade because I had to get both. I couldn't separate them. Like, come on, we have to admit. <laughs> and uh, the last time I did an Nendoroid unboxing was for Azul, so now I have the entire Octavenel trio set. So I'm really excited to get these boys out of their boxes and have them all together in uh, a set. So with the Nendoroid pre-ordered, I actually got um, some like special buttons here that came with the pre-order. So you know we have uh, Floyd's button here, and we also have Jade as well. So it's kind of cute um, when you pre-order them that they come with these uh, you know additional pins, which I am definitely going to use. And so here we're gonna see. Take a closer look at uh, each twin here. I'm gonna have to open them separately. So Floyd, you can see on the side here. Look at his smiley face. It's so cute there. We got this picture on the side. And then of course in the back, you can see the different poses and the faces he has. I love how he has, you know, his scary face, especially like from his groovy card, his like happy face, and then his like normal just chill, smiling face there. So again, nice visual of what he looks like all put together. So here, let's take a look at Jade first and then see who we want to open first. So Jade, he gets like a little teapot set there with his smile, his, you know, very gentlemanly expression there, but also his smirk because we have to include that as well. It is a very Jade trait. So it had to be included in his Nendoroid. Look how smug he looks. <laughs> and so yeah, he comes with a bunch of like little teacups in the uh, teapot as well. So Azul actually came with also a uh, teacup and tray set as well to really complete that whole Monster Lounge uh, set that they have. So let's start off with Jade first. We're gonna try and open Jade and then we'll go and uh, open Floyd, so gonna see I can get this box open and get all the stuff that's pulled out of it. So let's see here. And of course, uh, with all the octavenal androids, they have the octavenal background pattern with like the purple and the dots there. Which is really cute. I really like that twist uh, with the merchandise. They always use a lot of the dorm colors, dorm themes, and backgrounds and whatnot. So that's the box can be set aside here. I'll just put him off further in the back. And then so here he is. And the plastics. Let's try to remove this tape. Which is... Take me a bit. Oh, there we go. So now we have the plastic off and get a little better look at each of his individual pieces here. So let's set him aside. Let's get uh, Jade's covered in all these plastic layers. Let's see if I can uh, remove, remove the parts. There's a lot of plastics. He's got one over his eyes too, strangely enough. Not quite sure why exactly he's got there. Let's pull. There we go. So I guess we can first just look at the base Nendoroid here. So here's Jade. Look at him. Very, very nice and pleasant looking. So we have like, you know, the octagonal scarf there, and then he's got his uh you know pants, which the bottom legs are detachable, so I guess it's too switch out the legs in this case. Then in the back, so here you can see he has got the earring and then the back of his hair, it's like so. And then otherwise, like, you know, his uniform is going to be, of course, they're wearing their Dorn uniform, so it's going to just look very similar to Azul and Floyd's as well. I don't know if he can actually stand on his own. I think he's a little too heavy, all right. <laughs> I'll put him there for a moment. So let's take a look at his face plates. Because he comes with the or standard 
face there, but it comes with two additional face blades. So here's a smiling one. So it's a nice, pleasant smile, which also still has this earring there. Oh, I gotta see, is the earring detachable in the back there? Oh, I think his earring might be connected between the back of his ear and his hair. So we'll find out maybe when we take the face plate off. And of course, his smug looking face. Look at that, you can see the little teeth. Teeth grin. So adorable. I say it's so adorable, even though he's so menacing looking. Okay. I'll get his hat out after. So he comes with, uh, comes with a lot of small accessories, which I'm, uh, I'm a little hard time taking out with these gloves, to be honest. So let's see here. So he's got the teapot that he holds in the tray. He's got some additional arms. One of them's holding the plate. So we can switch out the different arm parts there. Uh, let's see here. Oh, so he does have like a leg that's like a more like a kneeling stance, so we can uh, switch out one of his legs there. And then here's the other arm, which also holds a tray. Azul has like the same um, same piece as well. I'm actually curious if you switched out Azul and Jade's arm, if they'll they'll just like end up looking the same on either an android. So here, you can try and see here, he's got his magic pen, magical pen there. And also this little itty bitty teacup that can go on like the tray that you can hold. Put that there for a time being. And then the last small part that we have here is essentially uh, the Jade's uh, hands. So there is like little glove par so it looks like it, he can like grip onto other other stuff as well. I put that off the side as I try to open this base. Alright, here we go. I think we're getting somewhere here. So of course all the androids come with like their own little base to like, you know, prop them up. The little like joint parts as well. And then finally let's try to get his hat out. Here. There we go. Alright. Of course, the Octavino hat. Comes with the little seashell pattern on it as well. Very cute. We've got a little indent space where you probably. Oh, well, there he goes. <laughs> Let's see how it. I gotta figure out how it fits onto his head here. I guess it's just like well, something like that. <laughs> I think I have to uh, push it a little bit more forward or something. There we go. Maybe just let it, let it sit on top. Very cute. Let's have to try and uh, assemble the pieces here. So. Give me a moment here while I assemble the pieces together so I can show you his uh, final form all put together. Alright, so now here's Jade all put together. I decide to go for the pose where he has one arm behind his back and then uh, you know, have him carry the pot of uh, tea there with like the little teacup. So, got the little stand there. See, like what's like the base attached to his back, and then uh, as I found out, the earring is actually a like attached to the headpiece itself. So you can switch out the plates, and then the back of his head is uh, essentially has the earring attached to it, which I thought was pretty neat to include it that way. He's got his little hat here, his pleasant smile. Let's see, I can. Bring him a little bit closer to check. So here we go. I'm gonna see him in his full, full glory with the hat. I think super adorable. I love all the accessories on him. I think it'd be fun kind of switching him out. Here we go. Trying to do a 360 rotation on here, but... Here he is. Jade. 
So okay, that's uh, Jay Nendoroy there. And so um, now we can move on to Floyd and uh, get him put together as well. So here's Floyd once again, and I'm just going to now take him out of the box and see if I can remove the plastics a little bit easier this time. So, see here, I get him. So again, he's got the Octavenal background as well for his box. All right, let's see if we can get him to slide out. All right, so let's put his box on the side there. There we go, we can see him off the side. Jay can keep watching. And so here are all the face plates. Gonna remove the top part here. Gotta do the same thing like I did with Jay. I gotta remove all the plastics, all the tape. Let's, uh, all stuff together. So now here's Floyd in his full un packaged glory there. It took a while just to remove all the film on him. I like how they have his little tiny sharp teeth there. Got the uh, uniform and the scarf as well, of course, like all the other um, Octavenal cast. His hair is like so. Again with the uh, earring on the other side opposite to Jade's. I like how his default pose is like He's got his arms or little hands sticking out like tee -hee. I think it's also just like very cute. I love how she I love his shoes as well. You can really see how it shows his purple socks like in you know the official artworks. So well, here he is. I'll put him down for a moment and show all the little mini pieces. Uh so with Floyd, he actually gets uh, two tray sets. So each of the Octavino members actually gets like a, a hand that's like attached to a tray. So um, with Floyd, he actually gets two. So he can hold a tray in um, either arm. So I'm gonna put this now. And then with... Uh, get these pieces here. So just like with Jane as... Well, um, he does get extra arm and leg pieces here, so he also has one leg that uh, is a little slightly bent so kneel for kneeling, I'm assuming. And then another arm piece as well. Let's have that over there. Um, I think Jade actually has more hand pieces or glove pieces, but... Uh, I already know it's going to be an absolute nightmare if I ever end up dumping all of Octavenel's uh, Nendroid parts together because I will never be able to separate it. Like I would not be able to figure out which hand goes to whose or like whose arm it is because honestly they all look the same because they're wearing the same uniform. So here are like the hand pieces and then um, his magic pen as well. Just so itty bitty tiny, but also super cute. So he can actually hold the pen with this uh, hand piece. But I mean, with I guess one of the joys of having all like getting the Octavenel set is that you can switch out everyone's like arms and hands are all the same size. So um, I guess you can have fun with that, having even more options available to you. And of course, we also have. Floyd's uh, face plates as well, so here they are. You have the one with his uh, scary face there, and then his uh, pleasant smiling one. It's just super adorable. I love, like, you know, that's the joy of the... or of a cabinet, where you can choose them to be, like, super smiley, pleasant boys, or just make them all, like, super... scary and intimidating. And then with Floyd, he also has, um... Really, really super tiny piece that I'm gonna have to try and show here. Because uh, on the trays, um, so Azul gets like, you know, tea and Jade both get teacups, and Jade gets like, you know, the little teapot. But Floyd gets these little drinks that you can put on the tray. So 
These drinks are actually if you played, you know, the Octavenal Chapter 3 uh, Rhythmic slash Twist Tune. And when you see like the drinks they hold in the background, they are like this color. And finally, let's have his hat, of course, because everyone has uh, this hat as well. What's funny is, hmm, I think it's about the same uh, size as Jade's hat. If you look at Zul's hat, it like sticks up a lot more. So there you go. This little hat there to fit on his head. So, alright, just like with Jade, I'm gonna, you know, put Floyd assembled together with all the pieces. So here's Floyd now, all assembled. I went for, you know, the continual Monster Lounge uh, theme. I just kept his default expression and just put the little accessories on him. So you see how you can have a drink on each tray there. But since, you know, I can always mix and match now, you know, put Jade's teapot or like a little teacup on it, on the trays as well. Put it. Give him a little, little bit of a turn here. Try to get him rotation. There you go. So there he is, Floyd boy. I'm gonna try to see if I can, uh, bring him up a little closer with his little hat. Here we go. So yeah, since they have so many different, you know, like, um, face plates, accessories that you can mix and match between Octave and Al, I think it'd be a lot of, uh, fun being able to play around with, uh, the set. So let's bring Jade right next to him. There. Now you guys can be together. So cute. So we have Jade. We have Floyd, and then put him over there, and then rearrange them. Let's see here. All right, we can get the complete trio now all together. I think. Can, can, oh, then there goes Jade's hand teacup. Oh my goodness, it is. Not gonna lie, it is uh, difficult to try to not knock over the pieces. Um, I do like playing around with Nendroids, but I'm also afraid that every time I try to, you know, get take a Nendroid to like change up its expression or something, I end up knocking all the accessories over on it. Well, let's see, I can put this back on. There, okay, he can just have the teapot. There we go. And there's the teacup. There you go! The entire Octavenel collection here in their Monster Lounge, uh, I'll call it the ready for work arrangement. So you see how everyone's got trays there, and then um, you know, they're, they have drinks as well It's provided for them. Just kept their default expressions, I think it's super cute. I really like how these Nendroids look and all their accessories as well. I think it's really fun having all three of them together like this. So yeah, I think that's basically um, all there is to these. Um, for those of you who you know managed to get your hands on any of these boys, enjoy mixing and matching and um, changing their expressions as well. Because I know I definitely am going to have fun with it. I love the complete way they look together with like their trays as they're ready to work in Monster Lounge. So thank you for joining me on this uh, unboxing session, even though I probably knocked over so many things trying to put this together, but it's the nature of, you know, working with really small pieces and a lot of different parts. There are so many parts to them. So thank you again for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And this is Koa Mio clocking out. Bye!